Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Josh Does Coding. In today's video, we are going to be continuing on with our wave-based survival series, and we are going to be setting up the enemy spawner. Setting up the enemy spawner is probably going to be broken down into a few videos, not just this one video. So today, we are specifically going to be looking at spawning in the enemies and nothing else. We'll deal with the wave part of it another video, but we'll just get the basics down today. With that said, let's jump straight into it. So what we want to do is come over to our games folder, come over to our enemies folder, and we are going to create a new blueprint. It's going to be of type actor, and we're going to call it BP underscore enemy spawn manager. So the way our spawner is going to work is we're essentially going to have enemies be able to spawn anywhere inside of our playable area. So this isn't going to be like COD zombies where they come out from like specific windows or anything. They will just be able to spawn anywhere inside of here. With that said, we need a way to know where the enemies can spawn. Where is this playable area? And an easy way to do this, if we come to the place actors tab and we search for a nav mesh bounds volume. So a nav mesh bounds volume is essentially an area in which we say an AI is allowed to move around. And conveniently, there's also a function where we can get a random location inside of a nav volume. So essentially, if we just make this cover the whole map, we kill two birds with one stone because we're saying, okay, enemies can walk around the map. And we're also setting up our little spawn area. So a helpful tip, if you press P, you can actually see the nav mesh visualized. It's a bit hard to see. Um, like right here, we can, we see there's a little area where the enemies won't be able to walk. So we'll need a fine tune the nav mesh later on but that'll be an issue for a future spawning video where we polish this up so what we're going to want to do now is simply just slightly adjust our nav mesh so that we don't have any of the volume on this outside wall just like that is perfect Cool, so now we have our play area, and we have a way to tell where we want our enemies to spawn. Now you'll notice, for example, around cubes, there's an area where our enemies won't be able to walk, and potentially even get stuck right now. And again, that is something we're going to look at in a future video when we fine-tune the nav mesh. We're going to have a whole episode dedicated just to that. So. With that said, just so you're aware, we will continue on with today's video of spawning in enemies. So we open up that spawn manager that we just created. We can come over to the event graph. What we're going to do is we'll get rid of the begin overlap and event tick nodes just to clean it up a bit. Now on begin play, we're going to set timer by event. And this is going to let us call an event every X seconds. So what we'll do is we'll create a variable and we'll call it enemy spawn time. And we'll make this a float. We can then hook it up to our set timer by event. And if we compile, we will now have our default value. And I'll say we will spawn an enemy every second. So what we need to do now is actually hook up an event to this timer. So we'll drag out and we'll call add custom event. And we'll call this spawn enemy. Now in the set timer by event, we're also going to want to set this to be looping so that this gets called every one second instead of getting called once and then stopping. So 
Like I mentioned, we're going to keep it super basic today, and we're going to expand upon this in the future videos. So for now, we're just going to spawn a single enemy every one second, as opposed to spawning like a group of four or five. So what we're going to do from spawn enemy, we're going to drag out, and we're going to call spawn AI from class. The pawn will be our BP base enemy. And our behavior tree, we're just going to leave it empty for now, since we don't actually have logic for the enemy to come attack the player or chase the player yet. And now we need to assign a location. And the way we can do that is by calling get random reachable points in radius. And we can pass this into the location. And we have a boolean return value, which we'll hook up to a branch. And we'll say, if true, we spawn this AI from class. Essentially, if this, for whatever reason, returns false, that means there's nowhere in the playable area that has a nav mesh that this enemy can spawn on. In our case, this will never be false, or it should never be false. So you don't have to worry about doing anything if it's false. For our origin, what we're going to do is get actor location, which is going to get the location of the spawn manager, which we're going to place in the center of the level. And then we need to assign it a radius. So how far around do we want? I'm just going to set this to 5,000 for now. We don't need to worry about nav data, and we don't need to worry about a filter class. So we can compile and save this. Now, what we're going to do, like I mentioned, is we're just going to drag out this enemy spawner into the center of our level. It doesn't have to be perfectly centered. We made the radius quite big. And now, I'll just remove these pre-spawned enemies that we're using before. And if I were to run the game, you can see that enemies are spawning all over the map every one second. And these enemies work just how you'd expect. We can still shoot them. They can lose health, and they can die. So that's going to be it for today's video. In the next video, we're going to go over setting up a wave-based system so that enemies don't just continuously spawn in like you're seeing now. On top of that, we're also going to make it so that more enemies spawn each wave and the rate at which enemies spawn increase. If you're interested in seeing that, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Also, leave a comment down below if you have any suggestions on how we can improve these videos going forward. With that said, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and good luck with your games.